Hey guys, this is TechWiz, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys the performance of iOS 10 on the iPhone 5C. Now, I did just pick this up secondhand. I've hardly used it. Um, I did update it to iOS 10. Haven't really used it yet. Just um, set it up and uh, turned it off. So, uh, I'm going to be experiencing this for the first time. This is the minimum requirement to run iOS 10. The iPhone 5 and 5C share the same exact specs. So the first thing I'm going to do is a quick startup test. I'm going to grab my iPod Touch 6 duration here, which for the record is also running iOS 10. And uh, we're just going to head to the clock, and we're going to go to our stopwatch, and we're going to turn this on in 3, 2, 1. And we are away. So I'm guessing this is going to take a pretty long time. Now, uh, if you've ever used an Apple A5 device, uh, that would be the iPad 2, the iPhone 4S, and the iPod Touch 5th generation, you will know that that is the slowest booting Apple device, um, at least on iOS 9. I'm not sure if it's going to be even slower on iOS 10. Maybe I'll do a speed test of the minimum requirement devices on iOS 7 and uh, iOS 9. Because the, the iPhone 4, which I have right here, was dropped uh, with iOS 9. I mean with iOS 8, sorry. Um, so we're just waiting here, it's been about 40 seconds. Okay, so, not bad. I'm pretty sure the Apple A5 devices take about a minute. So, um, definitely better than I expected. So, now we're actually into the OS itself. I'm just gonna go to the lock screen here. Um, not very much of a stutter, actually. I was expecting it to be kind of stuttery when I got into it, but it seems that that has uh, not entirely happened. Let's see if we go to control center. Oh my god. That that was pretty uh, pretty delayed. Notification center, a little bit choppy. But once you get into it, it does appear to uh, improve. Same thing actually it looks like with notification center. Not notification center, sorry, control center. It does seem to get better as you start to use it. Uh, let's see, swiping this way. Um, not very much lag, actually. I have to say, I was expecting it to be a lot worse, to say the least. Uh, ooh. Okay, that was pretty laggy, but again, once you get into it, it doesn't really lag. It's not as silky smooth as it is on iOS 9, because I was fooling around with this on iOS 9, because that's what it came with when I bought it. But, um, yeah, so let's just launch a couple apps here, settings. Okay, that didn't take too long. Still not as quick as I wanted it, as you would probably want it to be. Let's see. Closing it before the animation is done works perfectly fine. Just as good as it does on the iPod Touch 6 generation. Camera loads right up. Uh, of course, the iPhone 5C definitely still has a good camera considering the times. Now what I actually want to do, okay, the uh, multitasker um, seems to be pretty unaffected is now I'm going to take my iPod Touch 6 generation and just do a little bit of a speed test. Whoops. So we're just going to do a synchronized launch of settings. Okay, iPod Touch clearly ahead, but that's because it's running two generation processors ahead of the 5C. So we're going to launch photos. Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, for a device that came out in 2013, that's running specs of a phone that came out in 2012, I would definitely expect more lag than that. More of a delay. Launch clock. Whoops, uh, that was kind of messed up. But uh, how about maps? iPod Touch clearly the winner here, but not by much. So guys, um, iOS 10 on the iPhone 5C or the 5, um, I would say it's definitely worth it. Performance is actually pretty good, I say. I would say typing, pretty responsive. Because anyone who was running an A5 device with iOS 9 knew that typing was almost, you almost couldn't do it. So yeah, I hope you guys, um, I hope this lets you make a decision whether you want to update to iOS 10. Um, Drop a like on this video if you think that this is the last firmware that the iPhone 5 and 5C will ever get. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.